Hello everybody, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So today we are going to be breeding some Ackle Tekes and trying to get some coats onto them and their coats onto other horses. So we're going to be breeding them today. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I am already at the breeding center. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Francine and let, let's get breeding. Okay, so let's pick our our first horse I think I'm going to breed the Palomino one and should I try and get another coat on that or should I try and get the Palomino coat on another one honestly I guess it doesn't really matter which one I'm going for because the breeding will give me whatever it thinks it should give me so you know what we're gonna breed that and then this Arabian here and we're gonna get a crossbreed this one is not too expensive which is good at least um honestly there's only two options that we could get so hopefully we won't get a duplicate of something that we already have we could either get Bay or Palomino so let's go ahead and breed Oh, okay, and we got a, another Akalteke. Um, that's okay, though. It's fine. Who, who doesn't love more Akaltekes? Um, even though I totally don't have, like, a whole ton of them. The Akaltekes have been spawning, like, all over the place. Like, they've been in shops. They've been in the wild. They've been for trade, for sale. Like, everyone has Akaltekes. Um, which is good, I guess, that they're not, like, another rare horse. Um, so that, that's good, at least. Um, but anyways, I don't think I have bond with all of them. Here, we're gonna sort by breed so I can see all my Akaltekes easily. Why did it- why is it putting the Akaltekes and the Andalusians next to each other? Is something messed up there? I think something might be messed up there, because it is currently combining the Akaltekes and the Andalusians together, which I don't think is right. And while we're waiting for this breeding cooldown, we are going to go ahead and increase the bond of some of our Akaltekes, because um, they need more bond so that we can breed them. Because if they're not bonded, then we can't breed them, and it's not going to show up as something that I can breed, and we want to be able to breed them. This is me just, like, doing nothing, so I sped it up and skipped it, um, so yeah. Ooh, here we have an island unique one as well. I definitely want to try and get this on another breed. Um, I saw someone had this on a Frisian, and it looked really pretty. Um, and theirs also had the flax and fade mane and tail, which was really cool as well. And then this one here has a, um... Ulse Black Mane and Tail, which looks cool. It looks like a Fade Mane and Tail, but in reality, it's just from the fjords. Um, I started decorating this one. I don't know how I feel about the little hat on top, but it, it's fine. We're just going to go with that for now. I have a lot of unfinished tag sets or like ones that are in the process and just don't look right right now. Um, so yeah, also, I changed my hair for those of you that don't know. We now, that don't already know, we now have a bun and some clips and some butterfly earrings and a necklace. So this is our new look. I hope you guys like it. Because I, I thought that the uh, regular down hair was just getting like a little boring, I guess. And we decided to switch it up and add some accessories. So I hope you guys like it. But we're still keeping our classic lemon outfit right there. Oh, we can breed? Oh, one minute. Okay, we have one minute to do something um let's see do we have any more Akaltekes? it's still mixing them in with andalusians so i mean if you guys uh could like let trick know somehow that this is happening that would be great but if you can't you know that's that's fine Okay, so let's, oh, and also I'm looking for a gender swap potion currently, so this is my horse, Roxanne, and I decorated her, well, I guess him currently, without realizing that he was a boy, so, and I can't, I literally can't find a gender swap potion anywhere, like, no one has one. And I need to change the gender of my horse, so, yeah, we've got that going on. Um, okay, so let's see what accessories we have so we can make a tax set. Okay, ooh, we got money. I was actually in the process of making a candy cane one. I think I have it on a Cremello Frisian at the moment. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I was going with this, but I'm like, the candy cane doesn't look right on the Cremello, and I need, like, a white Frisian. 
so I want to get that as well. Or maybe I can try and get like a white Akoteke because that would be that would be good because I need to make some horses or like horses tack sets with the new breed because we, we got to include them in our collection here. Okay, we can breed once again. So let's go ahead and equip an Akoteke. Um, I hope I'm saying this name right, by the way. I think I am, but, you know, we're not 100% sure. So, I think we're going to try and get a white one. So, we're going to breed this um, Percheron with that. And then, also, the Dapple Grey would also look cool on the Perch. So, we're going to go ahead and breed these together. Let's see what we get. <gasps> oh, guys, we got exactly what we wanted. This is perfect. This is wonderful. Oh, and we got free tokens. Do I have a growth potion? I hope that I do. I do, and I have just the right amount. Um, okay, so where is our little, little foal here? Um, let me find it. Let's sort by oldest, and there we go. Oh, and it's a filly as well. That is perfect. And yes, this is a quarter horse coat, but I just think that it's like the brightest white out of the white coats, so I like it. Oh, this is looking good, you guys. This is very good. Okay, so we're going to take off the tack from our other horse. Where where did they go? Okay. And, you know, of course we're going to have to name our new horse Candy Cane because why not? Like, how can we not name a Candy Cane after we add Candy Cane accessories to it? So, here we go. Let's go ahead and find our accessories. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, should we go English or should we go Western? That is the question, isn't it? Okay, let's equip all of these. Beautiful. Let's equip the aura. Okay, here's Western. Here, let's put that on. Or English. There's English. Oh, sorry, you guys can't really see. Okay, it's an independent horse, so it keeps walking away. But you guys can see in, like, the corner that. And then this is the Western. I kind of like the look of the Western. I don't know. Usually I go with English, though. Like, for most of my horses, I go with the English one. Um, But I don't know. I feel like they could both look good. Okay, I think we're going to go with the Western for this one. And then I think that we should also dye its mane to fit the candy cane look. Like, you know, we ha we kind of have to dye the mane. Um, I believe I have two Santa Fe dyes. I kind of uh, am a seasonal dye hoarder, so I just have like a storage full of seasonal dyes. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna use these. And that'll give me another inventory space, which is perfect, you guys. Let's go ahead and dye the mane. Let's see how this looks. Oh, interesting. Interesting look there on the Akoteke. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and name our horse to finish off the look. This is Candy Cane. Perfect. This is Candy Cane the Akoteke. And let's also lock it so that we don't trade it on accident. There we go. Nice and locked. And we have created our first tax set of this video. And we bred our first horse, which was a success. So there we go. How many, how much longer do we have the cooldown? Oh, we still have a good two minutes. What should I do? Oh, yeah. So I was making another tax set earlier today. Here, let me show you guys. And I was going like camo themed. And then I was like, oh, I should dye the main green to match the camo. Guys, I dyed the main green. Yeah, yeah, soak that in. That does not look good. So we're going to go run over to Abby's and get this taken off because the green did not come out how I expected it would. The shades did not match and it was just, it, it, it looks hideous, okay? It looks hideous. Um, so we're going to go get the dye removed over here at Sweetie. Oh, and we'll check the accessories as well because... That you never know you could find in the accessory place. Okay, nothing good. Let's go on ahead over to Sweetie. And let's fix... Oh, wait. Die. Remove my horses. Die. Oh, not meringues. We don't want to remove meringues. Let's go ahead. Where is our horse that we just had? Oh, here we go. Remove. Main. Remove perfect okay this looks a lot better i also need a name for this horse but i did not know what to name her so currently she is 
No name camo horse. Maybe I should just name her camo horse, like, or just camo, or camma, cause it's a girl, and and yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing that. Okay, let's move on from that, and let's start thinking about our next tax set that we make. Oh yeah, so what I was also trying to do was breed an Andalusian <clears throat> with a pearl mane and tail. Um, so I got a horse with a pearl mane and tail, and then it also, it happened to be on a quarter horse. So I was like, okay, because I didn't want to pay like Robux for one of the um, Andalusians with the natural pearl mane and tail, like in the shop. Um, cause I didn't have one and I didn't feel like searching and so I just was looking for any horse with that mane and tail and someone had a quarter horse so I'm like, okay, I'll take it. And then I bred it onto an Andalusian and now it says Andalusian slash quarter horse. Um, so I don't know if I really like that. Um, I would want to breed that like quarter horse part off. So I'm probably going to breed this one again until I get like what I want. Um, so, sorry, I'm just, like, kind of ranting right now. Let's go ahead and go back to the breeding center. I also wasted a ton of money today. So, earlier today... Oh, look, there's an Aquatech A. I told you they're spawning everywhere. They're, like, all over the place, you guys. Um, which, I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, because that means more horses and Aquatech A's to breed. <laughs> more to breed, more to have. <laughs> This is, this is wonderful. I totally don't have, like, way too many Aquatekes. Um, it's fine, though. It's fine. Let's go back up. And I this video is actually kind of long because I'm not cutting in between the breeding sessions. So I think this is going to be our last Aquateke breed. Um, and let's try and get something good. Let's see. Let's see. We'll breed the unique one. We'll try and get that... Let's see, we'll try and get that on a Frisian, or we can try and get this unique breeding outcome on the Aquateke, which would be cool as well. And then this horse here has a flaxen fade, mane, and tail, so we could get that as well, which would be good. Oh, we got a filly. Are you kidding me? We got a common coat on the Frisian. Okay, well that was a fail. That, <laughs> that was sad. And you know what, actually, that since that one was a very sad fail, I think we're going to do one more breed for this video. Um, but it is cooldown time again, which means we make more tax sets. Yay! Okay, so this one is a work in progress. I dyed it the winter fade, um, and then I was going to do, like, a blue hearts themed tax set, like, with this blue hearts saddle pad. But the mane didn't match, and it was also a boy, and I kind of wanted it to be a girl, and it, it just wasn't working out. Um, so, like, should I make it a boy still? Should I re-dye the mane? Because I was gonna, if I was gonna um, redo it, I was gonna re-dye it um, the baby blue color. But, like, I'm just debating that right now. So, I, w I would want, like, another um, white horse with, um, that's a girl. Um, <laughs> so, yeah... What else do we have here? We have a hot mess going on here. Um, I just kind of placed these random accessories on this horse. So we're going to take them off. Because so I was running out of storage. And we just kind of put them on. So that is that. Um, I'm going to take a look at my accessories. And see what we can do. So this was going to be for my Andalusian. That I was trying to breed. But honestly. I don't, who even knows if I'm going to get the right mane and tail and coat and stuff. So you know what, it's fine. We're just going to decorate this horse now. And what, what was his name? What's the name of that style of accessory? Purple, goad, gold, dim, damask? I don't know how to say that. So we're just going to type in purple. There we go. And then all the accessories pop up there, which is perfect. I personally like the bow accessories, or I mean the ribbon accessories rather than the bow accessories. I just feel like like the ribbons like just look nicer. Um, so we're going to name this horse Majesty. There we go, that's Majesty there. And do we have any tack that we can put on that that would look good? Does this look good? Actually, that does not look bad. And then we can put on this saddle. Oh, this is perfect. This actually looks so good. I like this horse. 
that actually looks really good okay this is majesty you guys we got another horse with a tax set let's go ahead and lock that because we got to keep her of course um i forget where i got this saddle and this um what's it called bridle um but i didn't craft it i think either i bought it or I traded for it, or I opened a treasure chest, so I don't even know, um, but wherever I got it, it's, it looks good, and I'm glad I had it in my inventory and didn't sell it, because it looks pretty good on Majesty here, um, well, let's see, how much more do we have for the cooldown, oh, less than a minute, so we'll pick our horses, um, guys, I've almost, I spent, like, almost 10k in this video, I had more money, like, just before I started recording, but people were selling, like, some seasonal event horses, and so I bought a Clover Appaloosa for, like, 175k, and then I bought a Clownfish Mustang for, like, 75k, which I, I think I overpaid, but, like, I don't really care that much, <laughs> honestly, it's fine, it's fine, we'll, we'll live, we'll live. Okay, so let's breed another Akulteke. We'll have that, and I want to try and get another coat onto the Akultekes. Um, I think we're going to do... Oh, that one doesn't have any bond. Wait. We could do this. Like, this would look pretty cool on the Akulteke. No. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to breed Amber. We have this paint horse. We can try and get the island. That would look cool. That would actually look pretty cool. And then I actually don't know if I've ever seen, like, a paint horse with a Cremello coat, you know? So that would be interesting to see, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and breed. Wait, where did- oh, it's a paint horse coat. Oh, this is so sad. We got another fail for our last breed. Okay, well, I think that that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, that is wonderful. I hope that this video was able to entertain you because sometimes life can be boring. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Maybe I will do more breeding videos while making tax sets because a, ho a little hobby of mine is making tax sets in Wild Horse Islands. Like, whenever I'm bored, I will just, like, grab a horse and go to Abby and grab some random accessories. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a wonderful day. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content. Goodbye, everyone.